What's going on Team Elephant? Today we are going to be doing the 10,000 calorie vegan challenge and I'm really excited about it. Shout out to Humorous Fitness for giving me the idea. And fun fact, I was vegan for two years. One day I went to a restaurant, I ordered some soup and I made sure it was vegetable broth. She said yes, she confirmed it was. Ten minutes later she said, oh I'm so sorry, it was actually chicken broth. So I was no longer vegan after that meal. So that same night I went to a barbecue joint, I ordered some barbecue ribs, some pulled pork and chicken breast and that was the end of my journey as a vegan. So I'm really excited to tap back into the the foods I used to eat before but anyways guys give this video a big thumbs up subscribe for more and enjoy the video Alright guys, it is now time for meal number one and as you guys saw, it's like a paste so it looks like a dessert, it's going to be a really great treat, it's really high in micronutrients but more importantly for us, it is high in protein and it is vegan so I'm going to get to it and this is pretty intense guys, it's pretty heavy, it's like over two pounds worth of food but I'm going to eat this while watching Netflix. If you guys are anything like me, when I eat, I, you know, I enjoy the company of others, but sometimes I don't mind just sitting at home alone and watching some Netflix. So right now, guys, I am going to be watching some Californication, and I'm interested to know what shows you guys are watching and that are currently on Netflix, so like that I can binge watch them too. But anyways, guys, I'm going to eat this, and I'm going to watch that, and you guys are going to watch me eat, so root me on, and let's get this day started. All right, guys. I'm about halfway done with it, and it's okay. The hemp protein powder is not one of my favorites. Um, I usually go with the Optimum Nutrition Gold Standard, and um, I think it tastes much better than this one. Uh, this one is much more healthy, and it's uh, better for you, right, for your digestive system. I'm sure of it, but as far as taste and consistency, I'm not a huge fan of it, and this is the chocolate flavor, which I did not see at all, guys. I, I try to stay away from chocolate because it just breaks me out. I have sensitive skin like that, but I went with it because I'm not going back to the supermarket. I have to start eating now if I want to accomplish 10,000 calories in one day, but it's pretty good, guys. The banana is, is really great. It works as a sweetener. I was thinking about adding honey, but I'm like, no, that's just way too much sugar. And that's, you know, that's that's one of the cons of eating so, so much fruit and dried fruit. It's basically the sugar content, you know. Too much sugar converts it to fat if you're not really using it, right guys? So I understand that today I'm probably gonna be gaining some weight and that's okay. That's why you do this thing in moderation. And today is in no way, shape, or form moderation, but you don't do a 10K challenge every day. You do it once in a blue moon. And it's pretty good guys and the peanut butter is making it really nice and thick for me the coconut oil is Just a really great base. I guess it's helping me, you know down this thing faster But overall guys, I would recommend it if you guys are eating a vegan diet or you just want a high calorie snack I think this is a great um, a great route to go to and uh, Maybe putting this in the freezer right maybe like a little ice cream consistency That'll probably be really cool. So if you guys ever try that out, let me know how it uh, how it tastes. But um, yeah, or maybe some whipped cream. That probably would have been really good. But uh, whipped cream, I don't think it's vegan, guys. So how to stay away from it? But uh, yeah, just wanted to check in with you guys. Back to the show.
All right, guys. Done with meal one. And, uh, well, I was trying to eat actually a bit faster than usual because you guys know that it takes some time for your mind to register that your stomach is actually full. I can hardly even talk right now, I guess because this is just so much sugar in one meal that, you know, my brain functions are like, it's like fireworks going on up there. So I'm just uh, interested to see how my mood is going to change throughout the day. If I'm going to crash, how I'm going to feel, am I going to feel lethargic, am I going to feel, you know, really energetic, that's something that's really interesting, so that's almost an experiment, so to speak, and, uh, yeah, I feel pretty good, it's, uh, I'm still not full, 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 but, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied, right, guys, so I'm probably going to wait about another hour or so, and then I'm going to have my second meal, so like that I can try to, you know, just tear down these calories as fast as possible. <laughs> Alright guys, so about an hour, hour and a half passed so far and now it is time for my next meal. It is oatmeal. Who doesn't love oatmeal? Before, there was a point in time in my life that I would eat oatmeal five times a day. You heard it right, five times a day, like every two hours and it's because it's so cheap, it's so simple and it's a really nutrient dense food, right? You get some good carbs, some good fats from it and some good protein if you add a scoop of whey protein. So. Right now, guys, I'm gonna devour this meal two. It's going really well. I don't feel sick, and the sugar is not affecting me the way I thought it would. You know, I thought it'd have some bad side effect to it or whatnot. And I'm not in any way encouraging to eat that much sugar, but I'm just saying my body's handling it pretty well. Right now, guys, as you see, I'm editing a video with uh, my friend Damian Patrick. You, you probably can't see it from there, but believe me, I am. And that video will probably be out by now. So, uh, so yeah guys, guess what? I'm not gonna continue editing because I can't work when I'm eating. I just have to really be passive. Right now I'm gonna turn on Netflix and I wanna tell you guys about a show called Bojack Horseman. You know, it's, it's, it's like really strange humor but it's really good. But anyways guys, time for the next meal. All right guys, just finished the oatmeal and I have to tell you, it wasn't that good guys. I wouldn't really re recommend you guys try it. I don't know what it was. Maybe I, I just think it's the hemp protein, the powder that just, it doesn't have a good taste. It, it's almost like as if I'm having a scoop of cinnamon, so to speak. So if you guys wanna get an idea of, of how this tastes. But I started shaking a little while eating it. I don't know why, not trembling, but just like, you know, feeling a little jittery. So I guess now the sugar, right? I was too quick to speak. 
now I'm starting to feel the effects of it. And, um, and yeah, at least I was able to finish and I got really full, guys. That meal really, you know, that was really hard to eat. Like seriously, that's my stomach. I'm just like, I'm done. I don't, now I'm getting to the point where I'm like, hmm, I don't have to eat for another six hours, but that's impossible to do if I want to complete 10,000 calories. What's up guys, it is now time for meal three and I feel really good, I feel fantastic. I did some burpees, some jumping jacks, some high knees and I held some planks for a little while and I feel that was just a, a boost to my metabolism and it made me feel better, even mentally, right? I just feel like I exerted some energy so now I can consume more. And right now guys, this is meal three but it's sort of like a snack, right? So it's gonna be pretty light. I'm gonna be having some of these bad boys, some of these and mangoes my favorite fruit in the world and when they're dry they're probably a bit easier to eat right because you know they're so juicy and get, get you all sticky just like oranges but anyways um that's what i'm having and i'm also gonna be having a banana and i'm gonna be having some juice something i never have guys i always stick to water if you're thirsty drink water if you want something to drink drink water right so that's something you should always be drinking always remember to stay hydrated but Today, water doesn't have enough calories for me, so I'm gonna be having some linger. Some linger, you, you hear that? That's lemon and ginger together. And I'm gonna be having two cups of this, so like that, I can pack on the calories, so let's get it started. And I'm gonna be watching some Average Bro TV, so big shout out to one of my great friends, Cody, a uh, really great channel, and let's watch some pranks, so let's begin. too much sugar but I'm not complaining guys not complaining I'm just stating the obvious here and my next meal I think it's gonna be one of my biggest meals and I try to get the sugar and the fruit out of the way you know earlier in the day right now believe it or not guys it is 3 13 p.m. I started this day at 11 a.m. I'm not sure if you guys can see but it says 3 13 you guys can see that there you go and um yeah so 3.13 and I just finished my third meal and yeah, that's it. Hopefully by 8 p.m. I'll be able to finish 10,000 calories because I always like to leave at least two hours before bed because if you go to bed right after eating, you know, half the time while you're asleep, you're digesting your food and you're not really sleeping. You're not really, you know, resting because your body's still working, right? So that's just my logic, but I'm feeling good. I appreciate you guys watching and, uh, yeah, just watching some good old YouTube. Uh, I'm glad you guys watched this channel, and uh, I appreciate it again. And um, yeah, peace out. See you at the next meal. What's up guys, now it is time for meal number four and this is about three servings of coconut oil, two whole cans of chickpeas, which I really love. And now that I think about it, I'm so upset that I did not get hummus. I think hummus would have made a great addition to today, but it's okay, let's not dwell on it. Now, also some quinoa, as you guys see, it's a really great grain, you know, as opposed to rice, in comparison with rice, this has many more nutrients and it's just 
it's a better bang for your buck, so to speak. So I'm happy I went with that. And avocado, so we got some great fats in here. So this is a big meal. I don't know if you guys can see how big this Tupperware container is. It's really big, but I'm gonna eat it. And I'm also gonna have two to three servings of this drink. Um, I'm gonna shoot for two, and it's just gonna help me add calories, because this is about 300 calories for two servings, so that's really good. And it's meal number four, and it is now, let's see, where's my phone? It is 525, if you guys can see that. 525, and this is my fourth meal, and I have about over 3,000, maybe like 3,600 calories left in my day, so I'm trying to think of a great creative way that I can finish it, because if you guys seen my other 10,000 calorie challenge with just like regular foods, I wasn't able to finish, so watch it and find out why, but I really want to finish this one this time, so uh, yeah, let me be quiet, watch something, and let me get to it. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh my God, guys. <sighs> this is hard. It's pretty hard. But I only have a little bit left. Not too much, as you guys see. Just a little bit. Just gonna finish this and uh, be strong. Oh my God, guys, all right. We finished that meal and it was pretty good. Um, those chickpeas, I'm not a huge fan of. I love the chickpeas from, what is it? Uh, from the Goya company, as opposed to the ones from Trader Joe's. I guess the Trader Joe's one is just like, um, not seasoned the way I like it. But uh, anyways, had that meal. My stomach feels like it's gonna pop right now. I would show you guys, but it's very nasty. It's not, it's like a bloated eight pack. And that's something I doubt you guys wanna see, but um, I'm glad I'm drinking this. This has ginger in it, and ginger is known for its digestive, you know, assistance or whatnot. So hopefully that's helping me, you know, break down all these foods. And I have about roughly 3.5 thousand calories to go and hopefully I'll figure out how to do that between now and when I go to bed. So um, let's see, let's see what I'm able to eat. But Shake and it came out to 3,500 calories. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What's up, guys? Just got back from getting my last meal, and as you guys saw, it's a smoothie. And guys, the consistency in this is just ridiculous. It's probably about one pound of peanut butter in here, some granola, flax seeds, chia seeds, coconut powder, soy protein powder, almond milk, soy milk coconut oil, olive oil. There are so many different ingredients in here and I just wanna give a huge shout out to the people who helped me out today because I was really picky and my request for a 3000 plus shake is something that they don't hear often so I really appreciate them and if they're watching, thank you so much for uh, being so cool. And I'm just gonna finish this shake and that was my 10,000 calorie vegan challenge video. I truly hope each and every one of you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to thumbs up. Subscribe. Why don't want you to subscribe? Because you're my friend now. So subscribe. And uh, down the road, I'm definitely going to be doing more eating challenges because I really like them and it gives me something to look forward to. And these are my cheat meals, guys. As you guys saw, I try to keep it overall, you know, nutrient dense food. So foods really high in calorie, but again, 
nutrient dense, so that means they're really healthy for you. They, they're high in fiber, high in good fats, high in protein, right? So that's what you wanna look for when you're eating. So when you're bulking, that doesn't give you an excuse to just, oh, I gotta eat pizza and cheeseburgers. Remember, if you bulk like that, you're gonna end up adding so much fat to the point that, I need more calories. You see how hard it is to do this? So I'm, I'm thinking about actually just getting a spoon because that's how, that's how hard it is. I'm actually like working out my, I'm not even gonna go down that road because I know what you guys will leave in the comment section. But anyways guys, eat healthy, enjoy your life, have fun, work out every single day, and that's about it guys. But other than that, remember, stay motivated and make sure to be as strong as an elephant. Take care guys, peace.